Hey guys, I'm back with part 8 for this tutorial on how to build this mansion. Here at this one, we're going to be finishing the build. All we have left to do are the rest of the interior furnishings for the second floor and for the attic. I'm going to start here at the top of the staircase. So I'm just going to have a couple bushes in each corner and a carpet on the floor. So be sure to have the anvils, jungle leaves, sea lanterns, brown carpet, light gray carpet, and white carpet. So. I have the anvil, I'm just going to place one in each corner with three jungle leaves on top. And then I'll go ahead and carve out a hole in the floor. Right around there. I'll then fill this in with the sea lanterns. I'll also bring it out by another block on each side. And then I'll just do a little pattern with the carpet. So I'm just going to leave it like that here for the top of the staircase. I'm going to look here towards the left and we'll do this bedroom and bathroom next. I gathered up a few of the blocks I'm going to be using here for this bedroom. So make sure you have the smooth quartz blocks, the slabs and the stairs some brown concrete, light gray concrete, some birch trap doors, and snow. So I'll start with the full blocks. I'm going to look over here at this wall. This is where I'm going to have the bed. So I'm going to place a strip of five, leaving a space of the wall on each side. I'll then just have a layer of slabs on top of this, so that'll be the headboard. And then I'll bring it out by five on each side. I'll fill in the remaining three spaces here at the end. And then I'll have two strips of brown concrete, a strip of light gray, and another strip of brown. So that just kind of matches the walls. I'll have some snow here for the pillows. And then I'm going to have a smooth quartz stair on its side, like that, on each end. So this will be the nightstand. And then I'm thinking I'm going to have a storage unit. And then over on this wall, we could probably have a cutout. So I'll do that. Let's carve out these three spaces. We'll bring it all the way up to that crown molding. Like that. And then at the top, I'll have three upside down smooth quartz stairs. And at the bottom, I'm thinking I'm just going to go ahead and curve together three stairs like that facing up at the bottom. And then upside down above that. So they all just curve together. And then we'll have some paintings here to cover up that andesite and some decorations. How about instead of the stairs here for the nightstands, we'll just have a full block. And then we'll have a birch trap door in front of that. I think that'll be better. And then back over here on this wall, I'll just have a desk. So maybe just a smooth quartz stair right there. Or how about we move it over? And then we'll have three smooth quartz slabs and another stair. And then I'll have a slab in the middle to start off where the chair is going to be. I'll probably also have a bush in each corner, a carpet in the floor, add all the decorations, and that'll be it for this room. So I'll clear all these blocks. I'll grab the jungle leaves, the anvils, some sea lanterns, flower pot, some ferns, maybe another flower. I'll also grab an end rod and another light gray concrete block. And then let's also grab an iron door. So I'll look here at the bed first. I'll have an end rod on the nightstand and then I'll place a light gray concrete block so we just have some lamps. And then over here for the desk, I'll have the iron door behind that slab. I'll maybe have another lamp over here, maybe just right there on the corner. Another light gray concrete block. And then I'll have the bush in each corner on this wall with the anvil. And then you can switch back to the flower pot. I'll have one right here on that end, and then another one right here on the shelf. So I think that's about it for the flower pot. I'm going to fill this in with a fern, maybe this one in with the other flower. And then let's use the sea lanterns. I'm going to carve out a hole in the floor and this will be our main light source. So I would say right around there is good. I'll fill all this in.
And then I'll just clear everything. I'll grab the white carpet, the brown carpet, and the light gray. I'll maybe have a strip of white right here. Maybe some brown. And then the rest of it light gray. I'm actually going to switch this to maybe a little bit more brown. Yeah, I'll leave it like that. And now I'll grab the two skeleton skulls. And I'll just place these where the cutout is. And then we also need a painting. So I have a four block one there. Maybe a couple single block ones. And then we just have to do the desk here. So I'm also going to grab a bird sign. And then I'll also grab a brown banner. And a stone button. And then a stone pressure plate. So I'm going to have a painting right here to start off where this laptop's going to be. So I'll just place a couple of these skeleton skulls so we can place the painting without any issues. I'll delete those. I'll have a stone pressure plate, stone button, and then I'll crouch. Have the brown banner for the chair. And then the birch sign on each side. And that is all I'm going to do here for this bedroom. Now I'll head on into this bathroom. Now I have all the blocks I'm using here for this bathroom, so be sure to grab the smooth quartz blocks, the slabs, the stairs, and the pillar quartz blocks, then some white stained glass panes, iron trap door, sea lantern, anvil, jungle leaves, water bucket, hopper, birch trap door, white banner, lever, tripwire hook, a birch button, a stone button, a painting, weighted pressure plate, the flower pot with any type of flower and then I'm going to be using some light blue and cyan carpet. I'm going to start out with the sink. I'm going to be in between these two windows. I'm just going to have two full blocks on each side and then the space in the middle is where the hopper is going to be. I'll look over here. This is where the toilet will be. So I'll just have a full block, a slab, and a stair just right in the middle of this wall. Over here I'm going to have a shower. So I'll carve out nine spaces in the floor. Make sure you have the smooth quartz stairs, and we're going to place these up against the edge of the floor. And then here in the corner, I'm going to replace this block with a sea lantern. And then I'll cover it up with an iron trap door. So now it kind of looks like a drain for the shower, but at the same time it gives off a good light source. And then the other three spaces here will fill in with smooth quartz slabs. And then you can still see some quartz bricks here. So I'm actually just going to replace this with these smooth quartz blocks. Like that. And now I'm going to work my way up all the way to the crown molding. And just dig out this wall. We'll do the same on this side. And now I'm going to have a crisscross pattern between the pillar quartz blocks. So this will be the tile here for the shower. So I'll look over here. I'll have just maybe a sideways one, one facing up, sideways, facing up, and sideways, just back and forth. And then I'll start down here. I'll work my way up, so that is a sideways one, and then we have one facing up, so it's just opposite from that. So you just want to keep doing that. We'll do it one more time for this side. So that's that wall. And then we'll look over here and we'll do the same thing. So you can see we have one that's sideways. So we're going to start with one facing straight up and down here. And then I'm going to have a cutout in the wall right here. So I'll carve out these four spaces. I'll replace it with the smooth quartz slabs. And then right here I'm going to replace this with some more of the pillar quartz blocks. You can see this one's facing sideways. So the one right next to it here will be facing straight up and down. And then another sideways one there. And now I have the white stained glass panes. I'll go ahead and bring this side up by four. And then I'll maybe just add another layer next to that. Or actually, I'll leave just one layer on this side. And I'll have two layers here. There we go. I think that's a little bit better. Now it makes it easier to get in here. And then I'm going to switch to the anvil. I'm going to have a bush right here in the corner. So with the anvil with the jungle leaves, I'm going to have one in each corner over here where the toilet is as well. And then we have the sea lanterns. I'm going to have just a 
carpet and the floor right here. So just carve out a hole, replace it with the sea lanterns. And then everything that is currently in my inventory, we are no longer going to be using. So I'll just clear all that. I'll gather up all these blocks here. So I'll go ahead and place the hopper, cover up the full blocks with a birch trap door, crouch and cover up the hopper. And then crouch again and fill this in with a bucket of water. And then we'll have a lever pointing down towards it. We could have a birch button so that looks like a bar of soap. We could have a white banner maybe right around here for a towel. Another one over here. And then I'll have the trip bar hook right around. Is that a good spot or is that too high? Yeah, I'll go ahead and have it there. And then more up here at the top will be the lever pointing down. So that's going to be the faucet and that'll be the shower head. Yeah, I think that's good. And then let's have another birch button here on that shelf. So it looks like another bar of soap. And then I have the stone button. I'll place this at the left of the toilet. So that's the handle. And then I'm also going to have a painting here above the toilet. So I don't think I could just place it. No. Okay, let's go ahead and try to place a hopper there. And then I guess a hopper on the top. And I'll just have that painting. And now I think everything we could clear again. And we'll grab all the final items. So we need the weighted pressure plate for the toilet. I'm going to have a flower pot right there on the counter. And then just a little pattern with the carpet to cover up those sea lanterns. And I am now going to leave it at that here for this bathroom. I'll head on out. And I'll work my way over to this side. I'll probably just have a table and a carpet here for this space. And then we'll work our way into this bedroom. So I'll start in here, we'll just jump right on into it. So I'll grab a full block of the smooth quartz. And I'll probably just have a table here at this back wall with these three spaces. Is that I'll carve out a hole in the floor, maybe right around here. And I'll fill that in with the sea lanterns. And then, you know what, on each corner, I'll have another anvil with some bushes. So I'll grab those. And then in front of these full blocks, I'll have birch trap doors. And then I'll have just a flower pot. And then any type of flower. And then I'll just grab maybe the skeleton skull. And I'll have the flower pot over there and the skeleton skull there. And we'll just leave it at that. Now let's add the carpet. So you could just use whichever color carpet you want. I think I'm going to switch it up and have some orange, some gray, and some brown. So just do a little pattern with this. So I think I'm just going to leave it like that. And now we'll head on into this bedroom next. Now I gathered up all the blocks we're using here for this room. So be sure to grab these smooth quartz blocks, the stairs, and the slabs. Then some light gray, white, and gray concrete. An anrod, snow, sea lantern. Then I just have the two skeleton skulls, a birch trap door, a flower pot with a few flowers. And then a lantern, a painting, and then some white, gray, and light gray carpet. I'll start with the full blocks. I'm going to have the bed right here in between these windows. So I'm just going to place a strip of five. And then I'll have a smooth quartz stair on each side. Three upside down between that. A layer of three slabs on top. And then I'll bring out five smooth quartz slabs on each side. I'll curve them together right here in the middle. And then I'll have two strips of light gray. And then a strip of white and another strip of light gray. And then I'll have the snow for the pillows. You can switch to the smooth quartz stairs. We're going to have just two of these up against each other like that for the nightstand on each side. And then on the outer end, I'll have an end rod with a gray concrete block for a lamp. Over towards the right, I'm going to have a storage unit 
So you could grab the full blocks of the smooth quartz. I'll just fill in the three spaces right there. Over on this side, I'm going to have a couple cutouts in the wall. We'll leave two spaces here. We'll carve out two. And we'll bring this all the way up to the crown molding. And then over on this side, we'll do the same thing. So they're all two spaces apart. And now I'll grab the smooth quartz stairs. I'll place two facing up and upside down at the bottom. And then another set of upside down at the top. Do the same on this side. And then we could just fill in this single space right here with any block. So we could then place the painting without any issue. And then I have the sea lanterns. So we might as well use these real quick. So I'm just going to carve out a hole in the floor. Maybe bring it over till right around here. Yeah, that'll be good. We'll fill this in with the sea lanterns. I'll actually bring it over more towards this side, maybe. And how about out an extra layer as well right here? Yeah, I'll do that. And then I think everything that's currently in my inventory we have already used. So we could go ahead and just clear all that. And I'll grab everything else. So I just have all this for now. I'll start with the painting. I'll just cover up these spaces here. I'll have a lantern, a flower pot, and then just any flower you want. And then over here, I'll have maybe another flower pot. I'll just have the fern. And then I'll have a skeleton skull where the nightstand is. And then I'll look back over here I have the birch trap door. And I think I might have had a couple more skeleton skulls on top of the storage area. So I'll do that as well. Just right there. And then I think the final thing for this room is going to be the carpet and the floor. So I'll clear all that. Grab these. And I'll just add a little pattern with all of this. So I'll leave it like that here for this bedroom. And now we'll head on out, work our way up this staircase into the attic next. Right here for this little space, I'll maybe just have a carpet in the floor. I'll have two smooth quartz stairs right here for a small table. I'll fill this in with the sea lanterns. And then I'll just use, we already have it actually, the gray and how about some white carpet. And then on top of this table, I'll just have a flower pot with any flower. And then I'll grab the skeleton skull. So maybe just the wither one. And I'll decorate this little table. And now I'll look over here, head on into this bedroom and bathroom next. Now here for this bedroom, I gathered up a few of the blocks we're using. So be sure to grab the smooth quartz blocks, the slabs and the stairs. And then some white and light gray concrete. Then some birch trap doors, white carpet, light gray carpet, and some sea lanterns. So I'll start with the full blocks of the smooth quartz. I'm going to have the bed up here in this corner. So I'll place a strip of five. Or how about, no, it's going to be a strip of four like that. I'll have another layer on top. And then I'll have five of the smooth quartz slabs going out. Bring it in by three here. And then I'm just going to have the bed up against the wall here at the corner. So I'll have maybe two strips of white concrete, a strip of light gray, and another strip of white. And then I'll have a smooth quartz stair up against the headboard. And then we have the sea lanterns, so I'll carve out a hole in the floor around the edge of the bed. Bring it out maybe... A couple extra layers in this direction. Yeah, right around there. I'll fill all this in. Is that I'll have some white carpet. And is the rest of it light gray. And then I'll switch back to the full blocks of the smooth quartz. I'm gonna have a little storage area right there. And then over on this side, I could just have a desk. But I think I'm just going to have some type of table. We'll just add a few decorations on this. So a little something like that. 
And then that's pretty much about all I'm gonna do for this room. So now we just have to add all the extra decorations. We could have a cutout in the wall here. I'll go ahead and do that. So how about, is this too far over? I guess we'll have it right here. So two upside down smooth quartz stairs at the top. Is that two facing up and upside down at the bottom? Yeah, that added a little bit more to the room. And now I'll clear all these blocks. I'll grab a painting. And then how about a flower pot? Maybe the fern. And we'll see about a couple other flowers. Probably the two skeleton skulls. We also need the snow for the bed. And then I'll also grab an end rod with a light gray concrete block. So. I'll look at this. Oh yeah, we also need some burst trap doors for the storage unit. But I'll look over here first. I'll have a flower pot with just any flower. I'll have the skeleton skull there. I'll have another skeleton skull up here with another flower. And that I'll have the painting to cover up that indesite. I'll have the snow for the bed. I'll have a lantern right here. With the light gray concrete block. And then I'll have another flower pot right here on this table with another skeleton skull. And then I'll grab this fern, fill that one in. So I'll just cover up those two spaces with a birch trap door. We could have a painting here on the wall. I'll go ahead and do that. Maybe a little something like that. Oh, you know what? I don't want that same painting. Let's switch that up. There we go. And now, I'll head on into this bathroom right here next. So I'll start out with the smooth quartz blocks, the slabs, and the stairs, and we'll just mark out where everything's going to be. So I think over here at the left, I'll have the sink. So two spaces, skip over that space, have another block. And then over here, I'll have the bathtub. Well, actually, it'll probably be a shower. So we'll curve together. It'll be like a bathtub slash shower. So I'll have that right there. And then probably the toilet right around here in the middle. So full block, a slab, and a stair. And that'll be all we really do for this bathroom. Now we just have to add all the decorations. So I'll use maybe some quartz bricks for the tile here for the bathtub slash shower. Actually, we can't because this wall is only one block thick. So I'll just have all of the other blocks we're going to need. So a birch button, a stone button, a lever, a tripwire hook, weighted pressure plate, hopper, and then a bucket of water, white stained glass panes, and then I'll also grab a white banner. So I'll look at the toilet, we have the stone button, the weighted pressure plate, I'll look at the sink area, we have a birch button, white banner, the hopper, and then I'll use the white stained glass paints over here for the bathtub slash shower area. And then I'll have a trip bar hook and a lever. I'll fill this in with a bucket of water. And then I'll grab some birch trap doors. I'll just swap out that birch button. Cover up all this counter space and the hopper. We'll then crouch again, fill that in with a bucket of water, and then have the lever pointing down towards that hopper. And then I'll have a flower pot for the sink area. And then let's also grab the carpet. So let's just use maybe some orange and some red. So I'll have the flower pot right around here. Could actually have a lantern there. I'll grab that as well. Little extra light source. And then I'll have the carpet and the floor right around there. Over here, it's looking a little bit bland. We could have another little carpet there. How about some gray? So it's kind of like a little rug that you could wipe your feet on after you get out of the shower. So you're not just going directly on the tile. So I guess I'll just leave that there. Why not? And then, or actually, how about we make it a little bit smaller? Yeah, I think that'll be better. It looks more realistic. So. I'm going to leave it at that here for this bathroom. I'll head on out and I'll work my way over to this side. We still have this bedroom, this bedroom, and another bathroom. So I'll head on into this room right here next. 
So I gathered up a few of the blocks I'm going to be using in here, such as the smooth quartz blocks, the stairs and the slabs again, and then some white concrete, gray concrete, and some snow. So I'll start with the full blocks. I'll look over here towards the right, and I'll bring out a strip of four. And then over here at the left, I'll have a strip of two and another strip of two. And then I'll have a strip of the slabs going straight across, starting right here. And then this is where the bed itself will be. So it's more of a kid's bedroom. So I have two strips of white concrete, a strip of gray, and another strip of white. And then over here, I'll have just a smooth quartz stair on each side. So it's going to be... Actually, I can't really place it, so I'll have to maybe delete that stair, place it there, and then add that back. And then we'll have some slabs over here, so that'll be the headboard, that'll be the footboard. We could then have a little bit of snow here for the pillows. And then I'll grab an end rod. I'll have it just right there to start off where a lamp will be. We'll cover that up with a gray concrete block. And then we could have a birch trap door in front of that full block right there. Maybe another one here, or is that too much? Yeah, I'll go ahead and just have it there. I could maybe just extend this out a little bit. How about we try that? We'll extend that out, add that there, and then make some sort of shelf right here. So maybe bring up a strip of full blocks all the way up to the ceiling. We'll replace that crown molding. We could do the same on this side, replace that crown molding, and then maybe just have a slab here, and a slab here and then let me just kind of organize this a little bit well actually first let's look over here we could have a desk so just a stair on each side with a slab in the middle and then another slab here to start off where the chair will be and then we could also have a carpet in the floor here so we'll replace that with some sea lanterns so let's go ahead and grab everything else so how about a flower pot and then a bunch of the like the uh, creeper head, the zombie head, maybe a dragon head. And then let's also grab some flowers for the flower pot. So how about that one? We might have another one, so how about that? And then let's grab the sea lanterns. A little bit of carpet. So we'll use the blue to kind of match the walls. Uh, let's look at maybe this nightstand first. We can have a flower pot there with any type of flower. How about the creeper head there? The zombie head could be over here. And then the dragon head could be right here on the bed. We could fill this in with the sea lanterns. Cover it up with a little bit of the carpet. Have another flower pot right here on this shelf. And then probably just a skeleton skull up there. Or how about we just have another zombie head? Like that. And then over here... We could have just another flower pot. And let me just grab a different flower. Just like that. And now we just have to add everything else for the desk. And then this room will be done. So, let me get rid of that. So I'll grab a stone button. A stone pressure plate. And then we'll also need a painting. Maybe some birch trap doors. We'll also need an iron door. And then I'll grab a banner. Maybe just a cyan one. So let's place the painting first. I just have to grab an extra block so we could place it right around there. And then we'll have the stone pressure plate, the stone button, a birch sign on each side of the slab, and then an iron door. And then we could crouch and have a cyan banner. And then we could also have a shelf right here. So let's grab a smooth quartz stair, have it like that. Grab the slab. Maybe bring it out by another two. And then we could just have another flower pot up here. And maybe a lantern. So let's have the lantern right there. And then I'll have the flower pot. With maybe just the corn flower to match the room again. And then we could have just a skeleton skull right here. And I will leave it at that here for this bedroom. We'll head on out. Oh yeah, we have this little hallway. Let's grab the smooth quartz stair again. Maybe have one on each side. Maybe curve one in the middle right there. Could have a little strip of carpet. Maybe just have two strips like this. We'll fill it in with the sea lanterns again. So let me grab those. And then I'll just use the 
gray and light gray carpet. How about a little something like that? And then just right here on this table, we'll leave it very simple with a flower pot and just a fern. And we'll leave it at that here for the hallway. Just wanted to fill in the space so it's not completely empty. So we'll head on into this bedroom and bathroom next. This is the final space of the house. Now I gathered up all the blocks we're using here for this bedroom. So I have the gray concrete, the light gray concrete, the white concrete, and then the smooth quartz blocks, the stairs, and the slabs. And then some birch trap doors, end rod, item frame, white carpet, gray carpet, light gray carpet, and then white wool and gray wool, sea lanterns, flower pot, a couple flowers, the two skeleton skulls, a lantern, and a painting. I'm going to start by marking out the bed, so I have the full blocks of the smooth quartz. I'm going to place a strip of five down the middle of this wall, leaving three spaces on each side. And then I'll have a smooth quartz stair on each side. Upside down in the middle. Slabs on top. And then I'll bring out four slabs on each side. I'll have another stair here at the end. Three upside down in the middle. And then a layer of slabs on top. And then for the bed itself, I'll have maybe two strips of gray concrete a strip of white, and a strip of light gray. So a little something like that. And then I'll have a smooth quartz block, just two on each side of the bed for the nightstand area. We'll have an end rod on each end with maybe just a white concrete block. And then a birch trap door to cover up the front of those full blocks of smooth quartz. Over here, I'll have a table so just a smooth quartz stair on each side with a slab down the middle. And then over here I'll have a storage unit. So just a set of six smooth quartz blocks, a layer of slabs. And that will cover up these full blocks with the birch trap doors. We'll look back over here at this table. We'll have an item frame and a birch trap door so that looks like a drawer. And then over on this wall I had a cutout. So we'll carve out three spaces and bring it all the way up. Well, actually, I'll probably stop it maybe with an extra space at the top because I don't want to bring it too high. So I have the stairs facing up and upside down here at the bottom and then another layer of upside down at the top. And then we'll just fill in these other two spaces with anything because that'll be just covered up with the painting anyway but now everything that i currently have in my inventory right here we'll go ahead and get rid of we'll grab a bunch of other stuff so let's start with the flower pots i think i'll just have one uh right here and then maybe one on each end of the nightstand i think i need another flower or no i think i just have some ferns right here and then maybe just the other flower there and then over here, we'll need the lantern and the two skeleton skulls, and then the painting. And now we have all of the carpet and the wool, so we'll do the carpet and the floor. So I'll just carve out a little bit around the edge of the bed. And I'll fill in all of this space with the sea lanterns, except for those few spaces that are right underneath the footboard of the bed. So right here, I'll have just a little bit of gray wool and maybe a block of white wool. And so we'll line up where that white wool is with some white carpet, like that. And then where this gray wool is, we'll have the gray wool. And then I'll continue bringing the gray wool over to this side. And then the rest of this over here... I'll actually probably get rid of that and I'll have all of this light gray. So we'll just have a single strip of white. Or we could go ahead and replace this block with the white wool and have a little bit more white. Yeah, I like that more. And then everything we could go ahead and get rid of again. And I think I need the snow. Did I ever use that? I guess I, I don't think I grabbed it. So let's be sure to grab that for the pillows. So we just have a layer like that, maybe an extra one down the middle. And then for this little table, I'll have a skeleton skull on each side. And then for this cutout, I'll have a lantern 
and a couple more skeleton skulls and then we could have a painting like a few paintings on the wall right there and then i will oh yeah i almost forgot this is like the cool feature that we have in this room i'm going to delete this layer of the wall right behind the bed Now I'm just going to have a little pattern right here. So I'll use maybe some light gray down at the middle and then white on the edge. So we'll just have a strip of white going up like this. And then the rest of it light gray. Just adds a little, just a little wallpaper effect there going up along the ceiling right behind the bed. I thought it was a cool feature. This is something that I think I've done a few other times in some builds. I thought that was another thing that we could do for this room. But now, we'll head on into this bathroom. This will be the final room of the house. So now, once again, I gathered up all the main blocks we're using here for this bathroom. So we could just mark out the layout. So I have the smooth quartz blocks, the slabs, and the stairs. I'll look over here. This is where the bathtub slash shower will be. So I'm thinking I'll have two smooth quartz blocks on the right. And that'll curve together eight stairs. So that'll be all there is to that. And then I'll probably have, we could have the sink like right here. How about we do that? So maybe another two blocks there. We could have, how about some double sinks? So we'll leave a space there. So we'll skip over this one. We'll fill in maybe two, skip over that one and have another one. So just some double sinks. And then over here we'll have the toilet. So just a full block, a slab and a stair. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Could have a little carpet in the floor. So let's go ahead and replace some of this with the sea lanterns. And now let's start adding everything else. So I will be able to have tile for this bathroom. So we'll grab the quartz bricks. And then for the carpet in the floor, we'll kind of match the wall. So we'll have cyan and maybe some light blue. And then let's grab a white banner, trip our hook, lever, weighted pressure plate, and then we need a birch button and a stone button. We need the bucket of water. And then we'll also need some white stained glass panes. And we'll leave it at that for now. Oh yeah, then let's also grab the birch trap doors and the hopper. I need that as well. So I'll start with the quartz bricks for the tile here for this area. So I'm thinking we can maybe delete these two spaces here and bring it up. Just three layers like that. We'll bring this all the way over. And dig out this entire wall. We'll fill all this in with the quartz bricks and we'll see how that looks. You know what? I'll go ahead and just bring it all the way up to the ceiling. It just gives it a bit of a cleaner look. There we go. And so let's also replace this space here. I'll also replace these pillar quartz blocks with smooth quartz blocks. Let's use the white banner. I'll have it right there for a towel. And then let's have a lever pointing down. And then let's have a couple birch buttons. And then I'll have a stone button and the weighted pressure plate for the toilet. Let's add the carpet in the floor to cover up the sea lanterns. And then I'll clear all that. I'll grab all these other blocks. So just these three. Oh yeah, and then the bucket of water. And then I forgot we still need the trip bar hook and the lever for the bathtub as well. So uh, let's go ahead and mark that out real quick. So we'll have the trip bar hook there, the lever kind of more towards the top. We'll have two rows of three of the white stained glass panes and then we'll fill all of this in with a bucket of water. And then we'll look over here, we'll have a hopper, burst trap doors, and then we'll crouch, cover up the hoppers. And then crouch again and fill this in with a bucket of water. And then the final thing I'll do is just add maybe a little flower pot right around here. Just to add a little extra decoration. We use the blue orchid to match the rest of the room. So, that will now complete this build. So we went through the entire house and added all of the furnishings. So that's going to be it here for part 8 for this tutorial on how to build this mansion. And that'll now complete this build. So if this did help you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.